To change the thrust bearings in a Hollister Whitney machine, you must land the counterweights and let the car coast into the overhead by releasing the brake. Then drain the oil from the machine. Remove the six mounting bolts on the bearing cap and remove the cap. Remove the cotter pin from the worm shaft which secures the castellated nut as you see our technician doing. Now remove the castellated nut and the bearings from the machine. Visually inspect the surfaces on both the bearing housing and the thrust cap for any evidence of wear on these two outer race surfaces. If wear is noted, it is very important that these parts be replaced or remachined. If not, end play in the worm will result. You are now ready to install a new set of bearings. These bearings can be ordered from Hollister Whitney. It is very important when installing bearings that the wide face of the outer race be placed together. Always put the wide sides facing together, or simply place the stamped part numbers of the bearings together. Insert the bearing over the worm shaft. Place the thrust washer with the beveled side toward the thrust bearing. Apply Loctite 242 thread locker to the threads on the worm. Then replace the castellated nut. Tighten the castellated nut to the proper torque as specified for the machine. Now reinsert the cotter pin. Insert gasket shims onto the bearing cap. Before you fasten the bolts, apply a pipe sealant around the two top bolts and the two lower bolts to prevent oil seepage. Then fasten all the bolts. The bolts must be torqued at the design torque as specified for the machine. Before you add oil, be certain there is no end play in the worm. This is easily done by placing an indicator on the front or back face of the brake drum and pushing the drum back and forth. If any end play is detected, the bearing cap must be removed and gasket shims must be reduced to eliminate any end play in the worm. Once end play has been eliminated, replace the gear oil in the gear box. Hollister Whitney recommends a high pressure gear lubricant such as AGMA number 8 EP, ISO grade 680. Should you have any questions regarding the maintenance and adjustment procedures we have demonstrated in this video, contact Hollister Whitney Elevator Corporation.